What's up, ladies and gentlemen? You know what? We are finally here to talk about one of the probably one of the biggest franchises that has made a, not really a comeback, but has continued on now for a night film. We are going to be talking about Fast Nine, and finally, I was able to see it. I, I did not go to the theaters. If you guys don't already know, I have not gone to a theater movie in a very long time due to you know everything going on in the world and just rather just watch it at home or be able to try to save some money but finally was able to watch it online and i will say first off if you guys have to pay for this movie uh don't wait till you're able to go see it uh online or just buy it if you want to it really is not worth buying just to watch i'm gonna first off say that but if you're a major fan of the fast and furious franchise then i do highly recommend you you go and just get it now i will say first off that some of the way that they did the movie was kind of shocking some of it did i agree with no i did not but overall it was kind of interesting by the way that they did this and the reason why I say that is we go back and forth of how it, it, it shows when Dom was younger, how his father died, which we already knew, but we never got to see how his brother was in his pit crew as well, because Dom and his brother were part of their dad's pit crew. And again, there's going to be a lot of spoilers here, guys. So again, the movie's been out for a month. So I'm going to go ahead and just get into a lot of spoiler territory now. Uh, but we find out later on in the movie that somehow the car was sabotaged due to uh, Jacob Toretto, played by John Cena, which I'm going to get into his performance a little later on in the video. But I will say that he basically got shown that he wanted to help his father get out of debt because his dad was going to throw the race. And then, of course, it shows that uh, Dom, he was going to beat the living heck out of the one that was responsible for his dad's death so we thought obviously that's why he went to jail when he came back he got out of jail beat his brother at a race and then that's how we got to the point of how dom just became a major powerhouse and i would say throughout the street world and that's the reason why he's so respected throughout the uh racing and then what we finally see in this is why they are so much at war because Dom and Letty are off literally off grid they're they're way off grid and what we see is that Dom and Letty they were raising little Brian and of course uh, Rome and Tej they go find them recruit them say hey mr. nobody's in trouble come to find out it was Jacob Toretto that kidnapped him or possibly killed him don't know exactly what happened but what's kind of interesting is we exactly don't really know what happened because it just found that his plane was destroyed so again I don't know if that character is dead or not but then we have a uh, another familiar character that uh, Jacob is working with that you know what we saw in the previous film uh, I believe it's Char Charlie uh, Theron I think I think she was in uh, plays as that one character I'm not entirely sure I'm going to look it up here in a second but I will say, again, when they finally brought uh, certain characters to light about their past, yeah, I was trying to start, um, I think her character was kind of just there. She, again, I don't know why they kept her character alive or why they keep her character alive. She doesn't really do anything except for manipulate people, and I think that's the reason why maybe they keep her character around like they did in the previous film or what she did to Dom. So I don't know. But again, I just felt like her character was kind of wasted. And at the same time, where all this went back to uh, early on in the early films, we see even, they're all trying to figure out where exactly Jacob's doing. And what he's trying to do, he's trying to get a device that is called Ares and to be able to control all over the dark web and internet. Basically just everything so he can control. So we see a lot of familiar faces come back. We see Sean, we see Twink, and we see all of them. And again... I like those characters again from Tokyo Drift. They were okay, but at the same time, them working on rocket type of uh, something for like 
you know, planes and spacecraft. That was really weird because that scene that we see where uh, Rome and, and Tej are in the car and they're flying through space because they actually do go to space because of what happens in the mission. But the but of course Sean and, and, and the other character getting their pilot licenses was kind of crazy. And then also about what happened to Han, which kind of gets uh, shown, but it really doesn't because I don't feel like it was really shown of what actually happened, if that makes any sense. And the reason why I say that I don't think it was really justified is I'm going to say this because it shows that he survived by meeting Mr. Nobody, worked for him. He met a young girl that was being shown how to use this uh, device at a very young age. And when he was going to die, Mr. Nobody somehow faked his death. And it was really uh, Jacob Toretto that was going to try to kill him. or And that was a rogue agent and try to go rogue. So, again, I don't know exactly what they were trying to do. Because, again, in Tokyo Drift, we thought it was what's-his-name that killed him. Who Sean thought that killed, of course, uh, Han. And then in the other movie, we thought it was Jason Statham's character. And now it's like, okay, it's, you know, uh... uh you know Jacob Toretto. So again, it gets really misconstrued of what exactly happened. So that part really did confuse me. I don't know if it confused anybody else. If it didn't, please help me out here because I believe it. It made me go, what the hell? It really did. It made me go, what exactly is happening? Because it didn't make absolutely no sense to me. And so that didn't make no sense. And then again, I will say overall. I did like how they still keep Paul Walker's character in there, Brian, about how he was protecting his own kids and how he was protecting little Brian and then also, of course, how Lady comes to help. And which, again, I don't think was fully necessary, but I also think that seeing uh, Jordana Brewster return to the franchise and have a little more action than she did in a couple other films... I like that. I'm glad that they brought her back into the fold because, again, wonderful actress. Seeing her uh, with the crew really brought back a lot of uh, feels because, again, of the original crew. But, again, I just this movie did have a couple problems. And what I will say is that the main problem I had was, again, not seeing Paul Walker there is going to be a big problem. But seeing the franchise go forward, again, we're going to be seeing Charlie Theron possibly in the next film uh, because of what happened with her surviving. And then, of course, uh, Dom trying to give his brother a second chance, finding out that it was his dad that was going to try to throw the race. And then at the same time, that they were so in debt that the only one that knew was Jacob. And even Letty was willing to still give uh, Jacob a chance after everything. So again, there's a lot of things in here that is uh, shown. And again, I'm not a big fan of John Cena. If you guys know me, I'm not a big fan of John Cena. I've never been a fan of his. I don't think he's that good of an actor. I really don't. Uh, to me, I felt like it was more of they gave him a small script and they just told him to roll with it, is what I thought. And, and that's pretty much, even though it was a big role, even though it was supposed to be a huge role, it felt like it was going to be a very small script. Because, again, you don't see a lot of him in this film, other than maybe a handful of times. And then it really does try to go back and forth to give you more of a answer of what happened back then. But at the same time, it's, it's one of those where going back and forth into the past and showing the present can be a problem in a film if they don't do it correctly. And I think they did okay to a certain degree. But they could have gone a little bit different, I think, to my own personal opinion. It could have been a lot better. It could have looked better. It could have been more of the, this should have happened a long time ago um i think it should have been years to show hey he already had a brother but again they have to do it for effect or they didn't think about it back then again there's a lot of things that can be said or done that i know sometimes things just happen that hey this would be a good idea and they have to make it fit into the rest of the plot line but again there's so many plot holes in this there is there's so many of okay if this happened then how this happened or why this happened it's just one of those that really gets crazy and also again it, i'm happy to see other folds of the of the fast furious family come into uh the fold and again at the very end of the film i will say this very very end of the film where we go back to the original house and seeing you know the team or, or the family at the table by Ray said grace and the, and the new home and we see where there's one empty chair again 
you know, rest in peace, Paul Walker, you will always be missed. Um, that, you know, with Mid Diesel says that there's one chair missing or there's an empty chair. Obviously, you know, that was not just because his character uh, apparently does show up at the end of the film in the blue skyline. Uh, his character, I guess, may show up with, you know, uh, his two kids or me, him and Mia's two children. But at the same time, that was more of a nod towards Paul Walker. And I think there will always be a nod towards Paul Walker because uh, he was part of this, this, you know, this franchise. And I don't think that it's going to go too much longer without him. I know it's been hard on the cast from a lot of interviews I've seen. But I don't think that this one or the last one was probably as good as the other ones. And I feel like some of it was just kind of repetitive in my opinion. And I feel like some of it was kind of just being like, you know, going through the motions, so to speak. But I will say, again, I'm always going to be a Fast and Furious uh, fan. But was this the uh, the thing for me? No, I don't think it was. I don't think it was the, the best movie. Was it probably better than some of these other movies that I've seen? Most definitely. Was it better than Black Widow? Yes, it was. Was it better than Space Jam? Oh, yes. Was it better than uh, Snake Eyes? Yes. So, again, is this the movie of the year? Probably not. But, again, it was a decent film. So, 1 out of 10, I give it um, a, probably a 7. I'll give it a 7. Um, I think that's fair. But, again, that's just my personal opinion. But, I know it's kind of all over the board here talking about this. But, again, did they... Did they link up some other things that they left unsaid? Yes, but at the same time, they left a lot of plot holes and a lot of twists that didn't make sense. So, again, maybe that's just me. I don't know. But what was y'all's thoughts about uh, Fast and Furious 9 or Fast 9, however you want to put it? I know we're apparently going to be getting one more. Uh, this may be the last one. I think for the 10th one should be the very last one. I think that they can only go so far. But at the same time, who knows? But uh, I know all of them, unfortunately, they're getting older. We're all getting older. I know Vin Diesel can only keep going for so long for these movies. I know the same thing can be said about Tyrese, uh, Ludacris, Joanna Brewster, Michelle Rodriguez. All these amazing men and women that keep going for this uh, franchise that we love so much. But um, like I said, there were things I liked about it, but there's things I disliked about it. Um, I, is, is it one of those is a one and done? Not really. I think it's one of those where you can go back and watch it at some point later on down the line if you just want to rewatch all the movies all together, which is perfectly fine. And I do that all the time anyway. So I'll probably watch it again at some point, but it may not be for like a while because again, this probably was not my favorite out of all the franchise of the movies. So that again, that's just my opinion. Um, agree with it, disagree with me, that's perfectly fine. What was your thoughts? I'd like to know down in the comments down below. If you guys are new channel, subscribe about subscribing, leave a big fat like on the video. If you guys enjoyed, did you guys enjoy the movie? Did you guys hate it? I'd like to know what your thoughts were about it. Once again, if you guys are new, consider about subscribing, leave a big fat like on the video. Click notifications so you guys are notified every time I upload. As always, I'm seeing you guys on the next one.